have um, a little bit of a challenging selection where I want to extract the baby background, baby from this background, and not cut off his hair so it doesn't look like he has some sort of a, a stocking cap on his head or something. So you're going to need to, to try this. You're going to need the palette called the Channels Palette. Here's the Channels Palette. The Channels are the color separation negatives of the R, G, and B components of this file here. And so I'll show that on the big thumbnail. So again, the Channels Palette is under Window, and here it is. I'm going to hide it, and again, I'm going to show it so you remember there it is. And then from the Flyout menu, I actually could go to Panel Options and make sure that this is on the largest thumbnail so I can see the channels a little better. Now, as I was mentioning, this is the RGB or composite channel of this image. There's a red, a green, and a blue. And the blue channel would appear to give us the most contrast between the foreground or the subject, the baby, and its background, which is white. Quick reminder, we're trying to extract the hair so it doesn't look like he has a little helmet head or she. So here I'm going to take the blue channel and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm dragging it and dropping it on the copy channel layer. So now I have a thing called blue copy. I know this is crazy. Bear with me. So with this new copy, I'm not destroying anything in the image. I'm copying. I'm going to choose the levels adjustment dialog box and that, let me get the, the selection tool here, image adjustments levels. This is actually on the list of topics of how to do this or to show you guys that these three things are called the shadow, the midtone, and the highlight picker. And what I want to have happen is everything in the baby to become black, so it becomes a uh, like a stencil, and then the background to remain white. It's not the best uh, quality image. It is JPEG, and therefore you see the JPEG lossy chunks, but it should still work fine. So I'm going to choose this black point dropper. And I'm going to click where I think there's a light gray, but not a white pixel. Here, let's try the baby um, up in the hair here, because this is the important part anyway. I'm going to click here in this little ringlet. And it's going to turn this, when I click, it's going to turn the point that I click on to be black. There. And why that's helpful is that I can then hand remove everything that's white. So here I'll do it with the white point chooser. I'll pick this, and it'll turn this all white this gray now that's white and so that's the beginning of a custom mask or alpha channel which is like a layer mask but not in a layer it just can be applied elsewhere so it does not work easily if you don't have good contrasting background but in this case it was fine and there's some darker pixels down here that are not black that I want to be black so I'm going to click on one of these in the cheek and now I have even better contrast. And if I go down here to the shoulder, I have a pretty good mask. I will have to hand paint out this junk that's outside the baby's face. There is Command Z in here. I just did it. And again, here's a pixel. And that may or may not be like too much. Look at that one. That looks okay. All right. So that is how to turn a channel into what is known as an alpha channel or a stencil that I can use